some sample problems for parallelograms. I've written the rules up here one more time, characteristics. Number one, two pairs of congruent opposite sides. Two pairs of congruent opposite angles. Diagonals bisect each other. Consecu consecutive angles are supplementary. All right, so let's go over here and uh, try to work on this problem. These are all parallelograms, okay? And we're told that this is a parallelogram which has a right angle. Well, if this is a right angle, what does this one have to be? Well, it's also got to be a right angle, doesn't it? Why? Because it has two pairs of opposite angles. Well, wow, this one also has to be a right angle. Why? Because consecutive angles are supplementary. Well, if this is 90 degrees and this is, not, this is supplementary to that, 180 minus 90, this has to be a right angle. So, 4y equals 90. Divide by 4, divide by 4, y equals, I don't know, what is it? 4, 2, ah, what is it? 22.5, I think. All right, and up here, 3x equals 90. Divide by 3, x equals 30. Okay? <coughs> now, over here, we're given another parallelogram. Let's look at the rules. What do we got? We got x's on consecutive. Pairs of opposite sides, we don't have opposite sides. We got angles. Okay? Put little degree marks on there so we know they're angles. Okay? Same thing with these. Those are angles. All right? We got angles. What can we use? Two pairs of opposite congruent angles. Well, that would help because we know this is equal to that, but that's y and x. Uh, yeah, not there yet. Diagonals bisect each other. No diagonals. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Hmm, consecutive angles are supplementary. The x's are next to each other, right? So if we add them together, they should equal? You got it. 6x plus 12x equals what? 18x equals 180. Divide by 18. x equals 10. Okay, now we can come over here and this equals 120 degrees. Why? We put 10 in there. Now we know that opposite angles are congruent, right? Got it? Or we can come along and do this, 60x, and do it that way, or we can go opposite. I like going opposite. So, 3y equals 120, divided by 3, y equals 40. Okay, so we got our x and we got our y. This one, again, we're given parallelogram, okay? Let's look at our thing over here. These are sides, and we're told that we have two pairs of ops, congruent opposite sides. We've got 150 here. We got 30x, so that looks pretty easy. 30x equals 150. Divide by 30. Divide by 30. Chomp, chomp. X equals 5. Got our x. Great. That means we got to come in here and put that in there and find out what that. This equals 72 times 5. No. Y'all help me out. I think this equals what? 3, 6, oh, is that correct? Okay, so 3, 6, oh. So this, that means that 2y equals 360. So divide by 2, divide by 2, y equals 180. So we got those taken care of. Okay? A little bit, some uh, sample problems. Let's do a few more. Just a couple of more of uh, sample problems we're going to go over. <clears throat> Just so we can get these, uh, see what we can come up with here. Uh, this one right here, 
two pairs of opposite congruent sides. It doesn't have, it looks like diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other. So 3x equals 12. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 4. Very good. 4y equals 8. Divide by 4, divide by 4, y equals 2. Got that one taken care of. This one's a little bit different. <clears throat> what I want you to do is we said diagonals create what? Four pair of congruent triangles. Well, we're going to use that right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to cut this right here. And we're going to cut this right here, and we're going to use this triangle right here. Got that? And then we're going to come over and make this. So this side right here and this side is congruent, so this is a 17. Now this is a right angle here. This right here, okay, is congruent to this, so this is a 4. So this total thing right here is 8. Okay? This is a right triangle. Even though it doesn't look like it. We've got a hypotenuse equals a hypotenuse. Okay, we've got a leg of 8 and a leg of x. So, hypotenuse squared. So, 17 squared equals the leg squared, sum of the leg squared, x squared plus 8 squared. 17 squared, I think, is 289 equals x squared plus 64. We'll subtract 64 from both sides. Minus 64, we end up with 225 equals x squared. If you do the square root of 225, you'll find out that x equals 15. Okay? Very good. That works pretty easy. Now, we also know that this right here is a right angle. Okay, because this angle and that angle are going to be the same. Now we know that this right here, if this equals 15, then opposite side, this equals 15. So we have a leg and a leg. So y squared equals 4 squared plus 15 squared. So y squared equals 16 plus 225 y squared equals 241, so y equals the square root of 241. Now this is a little complicated and a little different. Why? Because we're taking this as, okay, diagonals create four pair of congruent triangles, we're using those congruent triangles. This is a right triangle, okay? We know that this is 17 because opposite sides are congruent. We know that this cuts this in half. The diagonals cut each other in half, so this whole leg is 8. This is hypotenuse. This is a, is a leg, so we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, just a PT problem. That's all this is, is a PT problem. That's what we're doing. Is we're just creating right triangles and going from there. Now, those are some of the types of... of it, problems that you can expect to have to solve with parallelograms. Not the easiest things in the world, but they are fairly simple after you understand how to take care of them. I do all the practice that you can on these uh, quizzes and tests. This is what they're going to look like.